everybody enjoys fireworks on a summer's night, but they can be expensive. And some stores won't sell them to you on a buy now, pay later deal. Or maybe they've been warned about you by the local authorities. So this time on Handyman Corner, I'm going to show you how you can make your own fireworks display using an old radio and a bunch of screen doors. <laughs> this is a tube radio. I'm sure you young people don't know what that is. But in my day, we had to turn these babies on, let them warm up before they'd work. That's how people of my generation learn to be patient. Kids today, they expect everything to just turn on immediately. That can be a real problem during a honeymoon, I'll tell you. <laughs> We're going to take the radio apart because all we need is the transformer, which is this heavy thing that's used to step up the voltage. It does that by induction. I'm not quite sure what that is, but I've heard of people being inducted. I'm sure it's very similar. <laughs> Another thing you got to watch for is the capacitors. A capacitor can hold a charge of several thousand volts long after the unit is unplugged. Now, is that a capacitor or is that just a resistor? I think I've just been inducted. Okay, I got my transformer out of there and I've attached the output to my wall of screen doors. Got a wire on each side. I figure I got about 100,000 volts running through these babies. <laughs> I threw away the welcome mats that came with them. Didn't want to send out a false message. <laughs> now all I gotta do is get myself comfortable somewhere where I'll have a good view. This ought to be perfect right over here. Yeah. There we go. Now all I have to do is plug in my transformer and wait for the fireworks to start. <laughs> oh, I know. Forgot to turn on my lantern. You need that to attract the bugs. <laughs> that one smelled like a bat.